hello friends in this tutorial we will extend our work from the previous tutorial here uh, instead of uh, taking values like this let's say a is equal to 50 b is equal to 23 we want we will take values from the user and then for the given values we will perform this particular addition operation so let's see how to do it so with respect to variables i guess uh, this part is clear how to use uh, printf function what is the the role of printf function in printing values of a variables for example here what we are doing we are just printing the value of variable c which is nothing but printf percentage t c right but now we we somehow want some mechanism using which we can get values from users right we, we want some input mechanism which can take values from user and store those values in variables so that we can use them in future so for that particular purpose just like printf we have one more predefined function the name of that particular function is nothing but scanf so now before we go further let's understand the syntax of scanf as well as what is what, which tasks will be performed by uh, this particular scanf function let's understand so the very first task will which scanf performs is take data take input data right from user right so here again we are talking about standard input output so input will be considered from keyboard right input will be taken from the keyboard right at the same time whenever you are inserting input whenever the user in uh, in gives input the same input will be also displayed on the screen right so it's uh, just like whenever you are dialing a particular phone number the same phone number will also appear on your phone screen right so in similar manner whatever you whatever you are giving as input data the same data will be also displayed simultaneously on the screen and the third and the most important task is to store the input data in variables right so this three tasks are performed by scanf function right and its syntax is very simple so again we need to use format specifier here because again in some sense we need to make sure that the depending upon the type of the variable the similar type of data uh, is inserted by the user where for example if variable is defined uh, let's say variable is of type uh, integer then definitely the data must come in integer format so therefore we will use format specifier right so we have already discussed some format specifiers like percentage d for integer for percentage f for float data percentage c for character type of data and so on right so format specifier and then we must mention what is the address of the variable right so now why address not because somehow we need to say that whatever data a user is giving as input let's say user have inserted 8 as input then we need to store this particular 8 at location of some variable let's say our variable is a then we, we must give address of that particular variable right address of a so that it can be stored at that particular location right so if i just write a right then then its value of variable and if if we write like this address operator and then a then it will give us address of that particular variable right so this will become more clear when we talk about pointers in future right so uh, make sure uh, you differentiate between this two printf as well as scanf and when you are supposed to use just variable name and when you are supposed to use address of that particular variable right so this this part must be clear so now let's try to modify our program now so now if we, if we consider our existing code right so this is our uh, import uh, one can say significant uh, aspect of our existing code so now let's try to revise it right okay so now uh, the very first thing which we need to do is now we won't give values like this because we want to take values from the user so instead of this we will just 
declare this variables a b c right and now somehow we will use this scanf function so we will say that uh, let us take value of type integer and store it in variable a then we can we will take value of type integer so again format specify this percent at d and store at location of b and then uh, then we can proceed usually like this a plus b and then we will print down the final answer which is nothing but summation of C. So, this is the direct use of scanf function, but again uh, here uh, there are some issues with this particular solution. The first question is why we are using two scanf? Is it possible to take these two values in just single scanf statement? Then answer is yes. What, what we need to do? We need to specify two format specifiers instead of one. So, we want both values to be of integer type. So, we will use percent %d, percent %d and then we will write down locations of A as well as B, right. So, this will take uh, both the values, values, uh, values for A as well as B simultaneously, right. So, this we can do. So, this is reduction of one line, right. So, instead of this two line, we will use this line, right. So, that is the first modification. The second thing is whenever you run this particular program, how, how user will know uh, what is, ex what is ex expected to be done by him or her, right. So, for that, we need some instruction, right. We need some guidelines to that particular user before this particular statement is executed. And remember, this execution is line by line, right. So, whenever we, uh, if, if you want to be printed something before line 2, so it must appear before line number 2, right. So, what we can do? We can print some message here like, uh, please enter to integers, right? Something like that, so that user can understand uh, what is, what what is supposed to be done by him or her. Okay, so so now let's let's under let's try to execute the same code. Okay, so this was the existing code. Let's let's quickly change it, right? So now instead of a b, we have three variables a b c, and now we'll take values from users. So first let me quickly demonstrate the use of scanf then we will modify it to okay so here we we, we need to write format specifiers for a as well as b so we'll write like this and then we need to mention address of a that is the first variable and then address of b is nothing but the second variable again all the statements of main must end with semicolon so we'll put semicolon here and then we will write down the simple logic of addition which is nothing but c is equal to a plus b and now sum of uh, a and b is nothing but whatever we are getting as the answer so let's let's execute this so before that let's save it okay and now let's check so uh, as you can see it's not uh, giving anything uh, no message is printed so now let's see how scanf works so if i enter 5 so, as you can see 5 is there on the screen. So, first task is yeah, the 5 input is taken from the keyboard and it is also, so that was the first task. Second task, it was displayed on the screen by uh, scanf and now if I enter then this particular value is stored in variable A. Now, again if I insert 6 then first task is this particular value is taken from keyboard. Now, it is also displayed by uh, on the screen, on the monitor screen. And now if I press enter, then it, 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 it was stored in variable B and simultaneously after, after completion of that particular line, the summation is also performed and that message is appeared here, right. So, this is fine. But now, uh, in order to make things less ambiguous, we can use this printf message, right. And here we can specify just we can say enter two integers, right. So, now if we execute this, then first it will ask for two integers. So, let us say my first integer is 5, so the second integer is let us say 38, right. And now summation is 43, right. So, the main objective of to, uh, today's uh, tutorial was to understand the difference between printf and scanf, right. So, you, you must know when, when you are supposed to use printf and when you are supposed to use scanf. If you want to take values from the user, then, then you, you need to use scanf and whenever you want to 
print values at that time you need to use printf right apart from uh, printing values of variables uh, you can also use printf to print any message on the screen right thank you subscribe to my channel for more videos